Hello guys, so I want to share with you guys on the project that I working on uh, for the past few months. I designed myself and 3D printed this uh, Airbus FCU to be used with A320 or A330. Uh, all these buttons are 3D printed but this one is uh, laser engraved. I 3D printed this on the PLA, white PLA and then I painted it and I laser engraved so that it can have a backlight. And this one is the tinted black acrylic. All this uh, I can see fully function. All right. I'm going to show you my settings. This is my setting with Mobius Flight offset settings. For the input, I will just show you the briefly on the values and also the data ref that I am using. I share this um, Excel sheet down below, so you guys can have a look. So these are the values for the input um, sessions. As for the encoders, if you can see here, let's say for this altitude. So for altitude, I'm using my own set. And then for each increment is uh, plus 100 and uh, it will detect this selection of 100 or 1000. So it will increment accordingly. Uh, you can do 10 times or five times for the fast action. Um, but I will just show here for one increment only. As for the rest, like uh, vertical speed, it uses the 100 increment because uh, the value originally I will time with uh, I will divide by 100 to show in the display. Okay, let's go to the output. This one is just LED output inside the button so just nothing fancy. Stay note on the expect button because the button will light up only when this AP vertical mode value is more than 110. Uh, this is per recommended by Tolis community. Okay, let's go to output in display. So in display is a little bit complicated because I need to show the dash and the negative values and as well as the fit section, there's a mark and IS values. There will be multiple settings that contribute to the same seven segments with preconditions. So these are the preconditions, actually is related to each other. Let's say for the speed not value, in order to display the speed not value, the speed LED must be true or equal to one, which is this one. So this one we will monitor as speed is marked. That means is when as speed is marked value equal to zero, so this speed LED value will be one because of this conversion. When, when this value is true and the speed dash logic is zero that means we monitor the data ref for the speed dash as well and then we, we put it uh, as a input uh, function only uh, there's no need to display out okay so this one there will be dash function to refer to this uh, input as well as the uh, the seven segment itself. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. You have to experiment yourself and explore because um, it will be very long video if I need to explain one by one. So let's see my FCU. I have two USB. One is for the power and one more is for the data connect to the computer. So let's power up first. Pardon me for the unmatched lightings over there. Okay, and uh, the stencil, I have a little bit of problem printing it. I think I have to use a laser engrave to engrave a bigger wood so that more lights can go through. All right, let's fire up uh, mobile flight. These are the output sections. And if you can see the logic, there's no output to the logic. It's only there for us to refer and as well as the input. Let's just go one of the encoder setting. Let's say heading encoder. So if I open up and you can see this encoder i use value minus one and for on the right uh, plus one but i also use the fast one uh, plus 10 and sorry minus 10 and plus 10. okay i'll show you the altitude encoder just now okay so the pre uh, there's no precondition but inside this reference i use attitude select logic as hashtag so that means when this value is equal to zero, that means is the we are currently selecting this uh, on 100 side. So this value will be true. Otherwise, we are selecting 1000. So this value will be true. Okay. 
same goes to the on right fast so fast I triple up the values over here okay so that's it for the encoder let's fire up the simulator all right right now I have fired up my Tolis A321 and I also have run the Mobi flight okay so you can see that there are some functions are not met the preconditions are not met so these are as per what I intended now let's do a basic function let's say this one is okay and I can change to mark and change back to not and heading altitude altitude 100 increment and vertical speed vertical speed negative okay put back to zero and let's do track fpa so this is track fpa and the value is in degrees so negative and also positive all right uh, but i have some bugs over here um, i think it's my function so i had to fine tune a little bit because when in fpa mode i can only get these two digits to display dash mm. But mm -hmm. if I go back to so. vertical speed, four digits display dash. I also couldn't get the negative value to display dash in dash mode because when I return back from dash value, the negative value over here will show zero if the value is positive. Uh, you get what I mean when, when you try it out later on. I couldn't show yet this green LED inside this button because we are not we we are not calling the airborne we are on the runway so if i press it that nothing happened but i sure that it will work when we take off so to keep this video short so i i, I will stop this video at, at this stage and then uh, i will do further videos on explanation videos and uh, testing when flight uh, in later videos thank you